Good evening everybody, Chill Cooking here, and today we're going to be uh, doing a tasting of a uh, 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 Guan Yin Tea House's uh, Charcoal Roasted Tai Guan Yin. It is a, probably a medium roast uh, Tai Guan Yin that uh, I don't know much about it because th there isn't that much info on it other than it's a Tai Guan Yin. So uh, yeah, but it is pretty good. I'll throw some tasting notes on the screen right now while I'm heating the teaware up. No, I don't need my tea tray while I'm outside, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not the new one I showed earlier. Uh, that one is going to a separate place that I frequent. Um, basically, there are two places that I go often, and I need a tray for each because I can't just carry one for uh, both. So, that's why I need two. Using a... Uh, 100 milliliter Gaiwan. Uh, 100 milliliter Gaiwan because I only have five grams left, and my 60 ml Gaiwan it it can't it, it needs three grams because that's 60 percent of a five, so it needs three grams for each. But since I only have five grams, I can only do I, I couldn't even do two sessions barely, so I might as well just finish it off now. You know, uh, yeah. Mmm. Like a cinnamon dark chocolate, but like very, very different, like a spicy cinnamon. And dark chocolate. Mmm. Good. I know uh, some of y'all have been asking for a tea video, uh, especially, uh, especially Jug Pan. Uh, but, uh, but, but, you know, I, I, I'm working right now on a, uh, recipe for a, uh, for E.A.K. Ramen, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm finding where I can get all the ingredients for and everything, and I'm putting it all together, it's just, uh, and I'm making a recipe for it, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, kind of, kind of difficult to make ramen where I live, there isn't very many places that have, uh, the ingredients I need. So I need to map everything out uh, beforehand. So give this a nice wash. No filter, as always. Even though I do have a filter, I needed. Uh, <clears throat> I want to do some tests on uh, on whether the filter does affect the flavor or not. I need to do some side by side comparison. Mmm, spice, like, uh... Mmm. Nice and spicy, like a spicy box. Uh, but, like, the chocolate is kind of good, gone, but the wood, a wood, uh... Uh, uh a dark wood, uh, takes its place. Very nice. They, uh, yeah, I, uh, I am using the extension cord again, but the thing is, the, the plug that I was using earlier is being used right now by somebody else, so I had to get a second extension cord and plug it into the thing and get to an even further outlet, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I like to be precise with my temperature, uh, so that's why I, uh, do it. Do a little bit of a light infusion right here. The, uh, yeah, light infusion right here, but it's gonna be good anyways. It's, uh, you can see that color, I guess. There is a, a, uh, my, I, uh, am excited because I just, I, I, two days ago, I think, I ordered my Jin Shui, uh, pot, and I can't wait to start, uh, to start using it, and, uh, just, uh, it, I, it's gonna be so, it's exciting, it's exciting. It, uh, I've been, I look at, I, I've been, I was looking at all these, uh, different, uh, Yixing pot, uh, 
excuse me, Yixing clay pots. But I didn't even consider Jinshui uh, until uh, Jug Pan recommended it to me. And then I uh, looked more into the different types of clay and how they affect it and everything. And Jinshui is a very, uh, uh, it's, it's a lot cheaper in comparison to Yixing because it's much more common, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and, and Crimson Lotus sources a uh, good yishing from uh, Jinshui from the city. So, I mean, uh, I, do, I, I do my research before I buy my stuff, but uh, it's it's really... And I picked a good good looking style. 90 milliliters, which is, uh, you know, I think, I think that's a pretty good uh, range for me, you know? Because uh, it's just, uh, it's nice to have a little bit under 100 so that you always get a little bit more. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna use it as if it's a hundred mil, so it uh so I'll always get a little bit more out of mine. So you know, I mean I could do that already since I have a point gram scale, but yeah, well, mm. nice creaminess, nice syrupy creaminess texture. Mm. Very uh, woody, spicy, spice wood box with chocolate in it. You know, dark chocolate like uh, like cocoa. You know, with a nice creamy, syrupy type of texture, uh, thick uh, texture in your mouth. It's good. Mm. The uh, yeah. So since I'm planning my ramen uh, videos, I'm gonna make probably two of them. Um, I already made uh, basically EAK ramen is tonkotsu broth, uh, uh, which is a type of pig, boiled pig bone broth to make it real creamy and rich. Americans really like that broth. It's the most common style of ramen in America. Uh, but it's a tonkotsu broth, and then it's shoyu tare, which is a soy sauce tare. It's tare is a, tare is like the seasoning of the thing because the broth doesn't have any, uh, any, uh, like if you think about it on tea, the, the, the texture is the broth. The texture and the um, the depth is the broth. But then the flavor and like the flavor of this is like uh, the flavor is the tare, basically. And it uh and then yeah, so there's the broth tare, uh, shoyu tare, which is soy sauce tare. Uh, shoyu means soy sauce in English uh, from Japanese. Uh, then, uh, chicken oil, which I already made for my, uh, chintan ramen, which I, by the way, I need to revisit. Look at that color. Super beautiful. Dark, clear. It's like, a uh, amber. It's like dark amber. Very beautiful. This is definitely a worthy infusion right here. Um, yeah. Oh. Mm. So, anyways, uh, chicken oil. Uh, chicken oil. You just you just uh, uh, fry some. Uh, chicken skin and you, you take the oil out of the skin basically you need to use it I uh, I freeze mine because it's easier for storage and it doesn't affect flavor or anything it just turns into this uh, I'll show you a picture on screen it just turns into this uh, solid thing and it's really easy you just take a spoon of it and put it in a bowl oh and I got ramen bowls Woo! because I, I've been using normal bowls which you can't really use ramen uh, use it for ramen but I got ramen bowls for Christmas. I'll show a picture on screen or something. I'll take one later. Uh, and and uh, they're they're not like fancy or anything, but they're the perfect shape for the ramen for ramen. So it's a uh, it, it, that, that's nice at least. <laughs> the uh, yeah. Anyways, so chicken oil. There's five components to ramen, by the way. There's a, a aroma oil, a broth, tare, toppings, and noodles. And, uh, 
and the toppings I'm gonna be using are is that it's like a, a steamed like a spinach type of thing uh, I can't get uh, what is it called it's that little nori I think it's called uh, I can't I can't get nori I there's no way I can get it so I can't make a completely traditional style EAK ramen but it'll be close because I'm gonna be using uh, uh, aji tamago which is a uh, seasoned eggs tech, like tamago means egg and seasoned is it's it's a you soak it in soy sauce and stuff and and I do I, yeah you soak it in soy sauce it's a soft boiled egg you know cut it on cut it in half on the ramen it, it looks pretty so spinach uh, the egg and uh, and I I forgot the other topping but I'll, I'll uh, show a picture on screen or something like that or maybe if that's all then that's it but <laughs> And then, I'm just going to be using normal noodles. I'm trying to find a way to buy sun noodles, but I don't know where. Uh, it's Sun Noodles is a very reputable noodle uh, company. They sell to, like, everyone. Well, they sell to all, uh, like, all ramen shops in America basically use them because they're so much easier than making noodles yourself. Like, a noodle machine, an industrial one, costs, like, $30,000. Like, it's, it's super expensive. To, to get one of those industrial ones so they just buy from Sun Noodle you know and uh, yeah uh, they're a real good company and I'm trying to find a way to buy from them but I don't know how so I'll probably just use some cheap American uh, American made well I mean I think Sun Noodles is American made but they use the real method and stuff and there's no way I'm even going to touch going into making ramen noodles from scratch no way, because I need specialty equipment and all that, and I'm not rolling it and doing it all by hand, no. I don't have the space here for that. And even if I did, that's a lot of wasted time, because I could just use uh, some other noodles that I'd be fine with. And, uh, yeah. Um, third infusion? Third or fourth? No, third. Definitely third. Anyways, uh... I plan on making another order on Union Sourcing again, um, because I have, oh, the reason I was able to buy my Jin Shui pot is because I've been saving up for a while, so I had the money, I saved up about $140, and I bought it, so I still have money left over, and then I got more money from, uh, Christmas, some people, uh, uh, my, uh, my, uh, grandma, uh, grandma, uh, from, uh, she sent me uh, some more money, and I'm able to buy. I'm able to place another order on Union Sourcing, but I can't. I'm not going to do it now. I'll probably do it in like a week or so. Because the uh, the Jin Shui pot takes uh, takes at least two weeks, it says, or longer because of uh, Christmas time and all that holidays. So it's either, but maybe I, since I ordered it after Christmas, there won't be as many, you know, uh, orders. So it might take just two weeks, which would be ideal. It already, um, it's already, uh, in U USPS, uh, uh, like, it's still overseas, but it's in USPS, uh, hands, I think, right now, so I don't know. I, I don't know, I, I didn't look too much into it. But, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's, it's going pretty fast. It's only been two days. Hmm. It's like a... There's a coating around your mouth, too. It's like a slick coating. Coating the roof of my mouth. But then it disappears. It's just like... Mm. The initial... Yeah. I was kind of surprised that y'all uh, voted for this uh, tea in, uh, instead of the... Uh, instead of the duck shit, because the, uh, the duck shit's far more... Uh, far more known and it's a more uh mm, that's good <laughs> oh the spite what I mean kind of by the spicy cinnamon -ness is it like it kind of like uh it kind of hits your nose and, and mouth and like in certain places and kind of like how cinnamon does I guess I don't know <laughs> spicy like it like I can't explain it. It's good though. Mm. Woody, uh, like a wood box, like a wood 
dark wood box with, with cocoa all spread in it and some cinnamon sprinkled on it. Like, it's good. And like um, a stick of butter. But, but, the, the, but the amount of butter is very small in the sea of cocoa, basically, you know? So it's still creamy, but it's cocoa creamy, but it's not sweet. <laughs> Very easy to uh, follow, right? <laughs> I uh, am planning on getting another Gong Dao Bay, because this, uh, well, because I need two, you know, for here and for the other place. Uh, because I have to bring this Gong Dao Bay from there to there anytime I want to use a, uh, my 100 or 200, uh, 100 or 170 mil ga Gaiwan. So, I have, but with my 60 mils, it doesn't matter. But, uh, but if I do want to use this, I gotta bring this. So I'm gonna get another one for there. So, um, I'm not sure if I should get the same one or a, uh, you know, the hammered glass design that, uh, May Leaf has. There's, uh, there's one on Amazon for like 16 bucks and, uh, reviews are fine. So, uh, it doesn't have a handle, which is fine. I literally, I barely even use the handle on this anyways. Um, and, uh, I think it's a little bit bigger, like 30 mil though, nothing. Uh, but the hammer, but the only concern with, uh, it is, for me is, uh, you can't see it very well because it's hammered, you know, the glass. And, uh, it's just kind of, a. Uh, uh, you know, it's not good for presentation, so I'll probably um, keep it here, and then at the uh, at the other place, I'm gonna use this one because this one's easier for presentation. And that uh, that tea tray that I got was for presentation because the uh, the kanji were all facing towards the other people, the towards the people I'm serving. Which I mean, that's all preference and stuff. It's bigger than this one actually. This tea tray, it's bigger than this a little bit. I like this one more, but. That other one is better for presentation, which I'm going to be presenting more there. Um, more of a public place. Where are these horsefly? <laughs> uh, and yeah. Oh, I am so excited for my Jin Shui. Anyways, <laughs> like the black. I was, I was really, I was really, um, flip-flopping between the brown and the black version. The same, same, uh, Z-I-S-H-I, uh, I think, is Z Shears, whatever it's called. It's the same style. That's the style. It's the same style, you know, the, the circle with the, you know, but it's, I'll, it's, uh, the, the, the brown one was a little bit bigger. It was 120 mil, and the black one was 90 mil, and the colors, I kind of, I was preferring the black more on color-wise, and, uh, and the size was, you know, but it doesn't really matter too much. It's only a 30 mil difference, but it's a uh, good either way. <clears throat> There's a good look at the liqueur or the the tea soup, as uh, Scott would call it. There's this uh, other YouTube channel that's that does. Um, can't remember his name. Oh, T Student. Check out T Student because he makes the same videos like this, but he does it inside, so it's even better. And he uh, he uh, he he drinks a lot. That's all he does is drink tea. And he he uh, he, he he's got uh, he reviews a lots of different teas because he has money like to spend on tea, and I don't. <laughs> but uh, uh, he. Yeah, check him out. Uh, T student. I'll put. Yeah, he, you you'll find him. Just search T student. He's got like 15 subscribers or something. I'm I'm one of them. He makes very good uh, relaxing videos. He does his thing, where he uh, keeps a little bit of the every infusion, in a mason jar or whatever, just like in a container, and then he can taste the overall impression of that tea, which is a pretty good idea. I might try it out. Um, because he's using a 200 mil, ga uh, 200 mil glass pot uh, most of the time, and 
he can't drink all of that on camera like that would take forever <laughs> so that that's one of his reasons but also you can get a good impression of the tea overall if you do that so i might if i'm using a 60 ml guy one i might have my gong dao bay here and just pour a little bit into that and then uh every time seems like a pretty good idea mm. I was, uh, during the Christmas times, I was, uh, I did a tea presentation for my, uh, for my, uh, my aunt and my, uh, cousin and, uh, some other people. And, uh, this is, we, we drank this tea twice, so that, that's why I was kind of worried about, uh, how much I had left. I didn't have much left because I drank so much of it there. And then I finished off the Da Hong Kao there. Well, they didn't finish it off. I used t 10 grams of leaf there, which it's a 28 gram bag. That's half the bag in one session. <laughs> but, uh, basically finished off the entire, like, I only had like, actually I did have five grams left. I, I'm pretty conservative with my, uh, with Da Hong Pao, I guess. I don't know. Even though I was drinking it so much, I don't know why I still had some. I was uh, comfortable with sharing that tea because I already did a video on it. Because my fear is, uh, I'm not going to have enough tea left for the video. And I'm not going to have enough tea left if I, like, I got to do the, I got to write down all my notes and stuff before I do my video. And then, uh, and then I have to have enough tea for the video, you know? So, uh, I'm kind of scared to drink my other teas. <laughs> and since this is literally the very last session of this tea... Uh, I'm glad I wrote my notes on it before, but I should not have drinking so much of it during the during the, uh, the 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 serving. I love this guy Juan. Like it is so, it's so perfect size. It's like, <laughs> it's just the perfect size for me. This guy Juan. And it's got, uh, I'm not, I'm very sure that this isn't Yixing clay, but that's what it advertises as. On the outside only, so it's kind of weird. But, uh, I don't know why, what, what's the point of that? But, uh, since it is, uh, kind of rough, because it's probably fake, uh, it's definitely fake, it was ten bucks. But, uh, I don't know why, like, why didn't they put it on the inside and advertise that? I wouldn't have gotten it if it did, but... <laughs> I would have still, I would have looked for a different porcelain guy one, but, uh, I don't know. They advertised it was Yixing on the outside, but, uh, since it's, a uh, kind of rough, you know, because it's still clay of some sort, uh, it kind of grips to your fingers pretty well, you know? So it's, uh, nice. A little bit. Like, this thing is 10 bucks on Amazon. Like, it's so perfect. It's a real good size, 100 mil. It advertises as 150 mil, but people in the reviews even say that it's 100 mil. I even tested it myself. I, uh, I put it on my big scale, and I, I poured water up to the top, and it was, like, 110 all the way up to the top. And it was, a, like, 100 right, like, just a little bit below that. So, it's, it's 100 mil. And, uh, it's... It's a very good uh, guy on. It's got good uh, good shape, very good uh, handling for you know. Definitely recommend if you need a hundred mil guy on and you're just starting out, just on Amazon. Yeah, this Gongdao Bay was also on Amazon. It was a. Uh, Fourteen dollars, I think. Really good surprise. But but I mean, you know, on on official teaware sites and stuff, they could be cheaper. I. Yeah, but Amazon is good for shipping and everything like that. Two days, like yeah. I got um, extra water here for whenever we get low. I don't. It's not hot or anything. It's just uh, more water, so I don't have to go inside to refill the kettle. There we go. Let that 
read for all, I guess. I spin. This tea towel is amazing, by the way. It's so absorbent. It dries overnight easily. Like, it's... I didn't realize how good tea towels were. <laughs> Need to wipe, uh, wipe your cup off, you know? Like, it's real nice. This, uh, yeah. Got this off, you know, sourcing from the shipment with my cakes. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm not gonna be right... I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna drink a lot of the uh, cakes before I do a video on them because um, I don't want to take tasting notes on them. I just want to drink, <laughs> and then over time I'll just know exactly how the tea tastes, you know. So uh, it'll uh, the, I'll do those in a very long time. Like I probably will have to go through all my Guanyin tea before you know make videos on all of them before I even before I even make a video on one of them, so, yeah. Maybe not, maybe not that long, that's a little long. Oh, and I decided, uh, when you sent, when, uh, Jugpan sent me that video of, uh, seasoning, is a, it's a video about, uh, seasoning your, uh, your teapots, uh, I thought it was a different type of seasoning, I thought it was a boiling in tea seasoning, because that's what the Union Sourcing uh, video says, but it's not, so I think I'm gonna probably do, I'm probably gonna try that one out, uh, the one he sent me, it's basically you put, uh, a lot of leaf comparative to the size of the thing in it, and then you brew the tea, and you literally pour it into a, a bowl or something that, that it can fit in, and you just, you just literally do an entire session worth of tea, and you put it in there, and then you submerge it, after you take the leaves out, of course. So, uh, it doesn't overbrew it and make it bitter. So that, uh, that sounds like a good idea. I might even do that twice. So, uh, yeah, sounds good. I'm probably gonna do that. What infusion is this? Six or so? So, uh, I don't realize I'm tea drunk, really, uh, unless I talk to other people. <laughs> uh, whenever I start talking to somebody else, I immediately realize that I'm tea drunk. <laughs> Uh, when I am, of course, not just all the time, but, uh, it's pretty common, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but, uh, I just didn't, I just don't, I don't realize it, because I'm all alone, I'm not doing anything, I'm not talking to anybody, I just, and then whenever I start talking to someone, I realize I'm saying, like, w weird stuff, and then I'm, I'm feeling floaty and all, you know. I mean, I do if I get enough, tea drunk enough, but... Oolongs don't really get, uh, maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe, maybe oolongs do. I feel like oolongs are the weakest, though, so. Maybe, well, I mean, I am a low, low body weight. Uh, so I might be, uh, <laughs> just a little bit, uh, at a disadvantage when it comes to not getting too drunk. I, uh, I'm not really caring how much tea I drink a day now, now that I have enough tea to drink, uh, for, from my pores at least. Uh, I'm not really caring too much about how much I drink, uh, when it comes to the pour. So I just, you know. And I'm gonna be ordering some more cakes soon, which I'm still researching which ones I should get and stuff. I have a couple in mind, but I'm not, still not sure and everything yet. I'm feeling a, um, a warming chachi. It might be because the sun's out now, but I'm feeling a war warming chachi right now, but might, I don't know if it's a sweaty one, though. Just warm. Maybe it's just the sun and I have a sweater on. <laughs> the, uh, light for the keep warm option on this kettle isn't very bright, so it's hard to see in the daylight. Hard to see in the daylight. It blinks when it's uh, keeping warm. Hold up. This tea tray is real nice. Well, I mean, not real. It's not like super fancy or anything, but just a standard tea tray. It's pretty big. Uh, I wanted a big tea tray <laughs> because uh, I, I like to. I really wanted to go, every time I had my, uh, my, uh, 
my little cheese tray setup with the 60 mil guy on, I've been like, I want to just pour everywhere, just go crazy, but I can't. And a big tray allows you to do that, and I, uh, I really like it. <laughs> What else? What else? What else? What was I gonna say? Anyways, EFK Ramen videos coming up, and there's this one video I do want to do. It's a uh, it's basically an introduction video to Gong Fu Brewing, because usually when you start Gong Fu Brewing, you have to watch like four or five May Leaf videos to get the idea of it. Get the, you use a Gaiwan, you use a high leaf to water ratio, and you pour it into a cup and you drink it. <laughs> but, and, and that requires either a Gaiwan or a teapot or whatever. And most of the time you use a Gong Dao Bay because you have smaller cups. And, uh, I feel like, I feel like that, uh, there's not there every video that's like a t like gong fu tutorial. There's this one video called gong fu tutorial. It's got like two hundred fifty thousand views, and it's like super traditional. Like, oh yes, ba da da. You have to. They don't even tell you what the things are. Uh, like they do, but like, they like, da. They sh they heat up the teaware, and then they do it like uh they 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 use the tongs. They have some really good tongs. Like, these ones are super cheap. Uh, I, I even have better tongs than these. But, uh, the tongs they use are, uh, they use tongs and everything. They have a, uh, a, a traditional, everything is traditional. They have so much stuff on the thing, it completely overwhelms new people. They don't understand what any of the things that's going on. They don't understand why he's doing those things. It's a seven minute video of him not even talking. There's just text on the screen of him just doing these things and he's expecting you kind of to know what what you're doing like what 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 that's a ter that's a terrible way to introduce people because they get super overwhelmed by all the traditional stuff they think they have to buy all this stuff to just start and they just quit right out of the gate like that is so scary for new people like they don't know what's going on that's not a good way to teach people things <laughs> That's why whenever I make my, I'm gonna make a video and it's gonna be just Gaiwan and Cup and then I'm gonna have I'm gonna show the Gong Dao Bay and stuff, but I won't use it. I mean I'll I'll demonstrate. Seriously? <laughs> but I'll demonstrate, you know, how to use it. You just pour into that, pour into other people's cups, fairness cup. I'll my I'll tell them it's a fairness cup. It's a you know, it I'll make a good uh good first impression video of it. I'll and thank you, uh Jug Pan for recommending me to make it into steps I made a four step uh, was it four I think I made it a four step thing it's just a uh, measure out the tea heat up the tea where which I made it optional because the third step was uh, wash the tea and then brew it and then I and before I did that I told them how to hold a guy one and I'll show them and everything and like it'll be so good it'll be so good <laughs> so much better and you can use it, you can, rec you can, uh, for people you want to convert and stuff, but it's hard to explain everything all at once, you can show them th that video, and they'll be like, oh yeah, you just pour it into the cup, or you pour it into the Gong Dao Bay, and you, the Gong Dao Bay gets poured into the cup, and you share it with other people too, and it's, uh, real nice, and I'll, I probably will show them what a tea tray is, and I'll say it's not optional at all, but I like being able to do that. I really do like that. <laughs> Maybe not as vigorous, but still. I really like those big uh, stone ones they use in uh, China. Like the big ones that are like, you can just literally, <laughs> but. <laughs> the stone uh, tea tray would definitely be the best. And in the future, I do want to get a stone one, but uh, that's like way far in the future. Years, maybe. I'll have many tea trays before I get a stone one. <laughs> many other ones. Well, I mean, unless it's a, I find one on sale or something close by.
But it will be probably after I'm not living here. Hmm. <laughs> Plan on buying more cups. More, uh, there's this package of the, like, six, uh, like, uh, six cups, uh, that are, I'll show an image on screen or something, but, uh, they're pretty nice. They're, like, 16 bucks. The reviews are good. Uh, they're about this shape, tulip shape. I like, I really like this tulip shape. It's, uh, it's perfect for drinking and everything. It's, it's my favorite shape, at least. I don't like the wide ones like this. Like, I mean, I know this isn't a cup, but, like, there are these wide ones that are like that. And I don't, I mean, they're okay, but not my favorite. Probably close to the last infusion. Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I'm not keeping track. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna boil this water, get it all the way up, and then I'm gonna infuse it. Do, 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 do. The, uh, Say, hey, hate dead silence in a video. Oh, my last video, my last video, my last T video, not the, not the slow-mo, but the one before that, was so, like, awkward, kind of, in comparison, at least. Like, I was barely talking some of it. It was kind of quiet, you know. Sorry about that. Horse fly. I did pour it a little bit lower than the uh, 100 mil, so it does kind of make sense. But still, this is an 80 milliliter cup, so it's full. Ouch. Ow. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> I want to get more slow-mos of pouring tea because they're real cool. I, you know, at least I think. Uh, generally a, uh, a cool, uh, you know, you can make a good uh, story out of it or an uh, Instagram story. Uh, good, you know, pretty nice. The, uh, Oh, and I also want a tea pet. I found some tea pets I want, and I either want an elephant or a crab. Uh, the crab changes color uh, when you, whenever it's hot, whenever you pour hot things over it. I don't know what metal that is, but it's a uh, it changes color from this dark to the orange crab-like color, I think, or close to that. And it's an instant, instant, uh, instant gratification teapot. You know, you instantly see the change. Uh, teapot, not teapot. And then the, the elephant is that jade with the cracks in it, which over time the cracks will be filled with the tea uh, color. So, uh, and I'm kind of split. I don't know which one I'm going to get. Probably leaning towards the crab because, uh, probably leaning towards the crab for at the serving place where I'm serving to multiple people and stuff like that because instant gratification for them is way, way easier to convey than uh, over time. Like, Unless they come back a lot, they won't notice any change. But yeah. Just want a nice little tea pad I can pour my wash over. Yeah, like, uh, that guy was using a tea pad. The, the, the guy with the video, the, uh, tutorial without any reason, uh, he was using a tea pet. He didn't explain what. It, uh, he did explain kind of. He said, "Put your wash over the tea pet, and he'll like it." Uh, he was using two Yixing pots, so that's not good. That's not very user friendly for new people. Because how are we supposed to get Yixing pots? Like, you could, but like you wouldn't know anything about it. You'd probably get the wrong one. Like, why would you do that as the first thing? Always show a guy one for beginners because that's what they're gonna use. You're gonna use a guy one. Unless you're rich or something. 
you know, like you wouldn't buy a hundred and fifty dollar thing just to start off, like both beginning. Like you wouldn't initially just buy such a high dollar item when you're just starting a hobby. You know, like you you buy a ten dollar guy a fifteen dollar Gunga Bay and, and a twelve dollar set of six cups. That's what I did. That's what I did. <laughs> You buy the, the cheaper stuff. You don't buy a Yishin clay pot. So there's no... And he was using... He was also using another Yishin clay pot for the for his Gong Da Bei. So... And he was using a smelling cup. Like, what? You, you you need a different... You need to go... You need to calm down with your, with your tradition and stuff like that. Whenever you're introducing people to the freaking... To, to, to Gong Fu, you know? New people won't understand why you need a smelling cup. Like, what, what, like, unless you explain it to them in the video, which he didn't. He see, he, all he said was it's a smelling cup. He didn't say it. It's, it's just text on screen. It was a smelling cup and normal cup. And that's it. And he didn't explain any further than that. Other than you smell the tea in this. Wow. You smell the tea before you drink it. That's what he said. Yeah? Why? <sighs> Not very beginner friendly because the beginners will be focusing on the taste of the tea. They won't be either. Either they're probably be enthralled by the traditional experience that that guy showed, but they won't know where to start, where to get any of the stuff, what to do with any of the stuff. Like they won't know anything about all that. So, th you, if you're really into gung fu, you would watch more videos. You know, about Melee got some good videos. Crimson Lotus has some good star videos, like how to hold a guy one. He has this really weird video. Well, not weird, but he's uh, his guy wand holding video. He even teaches this weird way to hold it. It's like this, and you pour it like that. Ouch! Ouch! My thumb touched the thing. Yeah, he teaches that weird way, but uh, but he's but he teaches the normal way too. So. Just uh, just look, look for those type of videos, you know, and um, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely breaking it into two separate videos. One talking about the tea, and what the tea itself, like the tea leaves and all that, the quality and stuff like that, what to avoid, and then one video about how to use all the teaware and all that stuff and what the teaware is and explaining everything into that. And you, I'm just gonna basically beginner as if I'm talking to a beginner, but I have everything already set out, so it's way easier, way more structured than like, because when you ramble to your friend, like this is a guy Wan, yeah, it's like they won't understand what it means. They'll just be like, this is a guy Wan and this is a Ganga Bay. You you pour from the Ganga Bay to the cup and you drink it, and you don't want to explain like the Ganga Bay is a fairness cup. You pour to multiple people. You you drink the you you pour to yourself. It's useful for whenever you're, uh, whenever you have a bigger gum on than your cup. This tea is definitely dead on this infusion. Um. Also, you don't want to explain what gong fu is. You usually like initially whenever you, whenever you're talking to people about gong fu, you're like you put it, you put the tea leaves in this gong and you pour it there you don't explain that it's a high leaf to water ratio you know and you know it'll be all in the video I don't know when I'm gonna make that video but I'm gonna try and make it this uh, next maybe next year definitely next year but uh which is like three days <laughs> but uh two days really This, uh, this style is brand new because, uh, I didn't like, I, I, I couldn't use this tray on, on the table that I was using earlier, that, uh, that, that table with all the holes in it, and it was wobbly and stuff, like, like, I couldn't use this tray because this tray has four center points, and I would have to set it directly on the things, and, like, it's just, you know, this is easier, this is pretty easy, easy, uh, easy enough. This is definitely the last infusion. I would I would probably call the last infusion the last one. This is probably a push, but you know, it'll it'll be fine.
Oh, hope my video hasn't died this time. <laughs> or else I've been rambling about nothing for like an hour now or so. Wonder how long this video wonder how long this video is. Oh, last time, uh, whenever I was remembering back, because I don't have any footage of it, but that one video where I did the right pour, uh I was rambling about how my pour pick was sharp enough to cut paper and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> I was like crazy rambling. <laughs> I got really sleepy, drunk, tea drunk from that. Like, it's, <laughs> it was fun. Yep, it's dead, but it still has this cocoa, still has the dark cocoa, kind of, like it's so light, but it's just, it's kind of dark cocoa. The serifiness is a little bit lighter for the, the texture, mm. but it's still good, you know. I don't remember what I rated this tea, just like the Dalang Pao, I literally don't remember last time I uh, did the tasting of it. Um, definitely lower than a Da Hong Pao, but it's, uh, still pretty good. Still pretty good. I wish Guan Yin Tea House sold in bigger increments than 25 grams, or 28 grams, because that's so small. That's like, what, what if I really like this tea and I want to buy 100 grams of it, you know? I gotta buy four packages, which is really expensive. Guan Yin Tea House is so expensive. I don't know what it is online, but in the in-store, which I mean, it, it, it makes sense to be more expensive in the store than whatever online, but if the online is the same price than in the store, then that's such a waste, kind of. Good anyways, though, you know. Oh, um, do you care if I do a review on the tea, or does, does it matter? Um, because... If it doesn't matter if I do the review, then I can make a lot more tea videos because I won't need to do the tasting or anything like that. I can just drink it and give my opinion on the spot. But if if you like the reviews a bit more, then I can, uh, like I'm trying to do, uh, it. Mm, the aroma's still really good, though. Oh, and I'll show you this. Uh, this tea, even though it's ball rolled, it doesn't unwind that much. It's very crimpled still. Oh. I can't. Yeah, it's still very crumpled. You know, because usually, well, like from my experience, my uh, May Leaf's milk oolong just unrolls, unrolls so much, and it, and it gets really full. You know, it comes out the top a little bit. You know, same with the Gaba oolong. It just really full opens up but this one cr is crumpled so it's kind of weird all right that's uh that's probably it for this session uh follow me on instagram at chill gong fu uh i do a lot of tea stuff there like that's all i do almost is tea stuff even though i follow like ramen people i that i just do tons of tea stuff on my instagram because it's a lot easier to show pictures and stuff like that but uh at Chil Gong Fu, uh, see you next time. Uh, Johnny, bye bye.